Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So the first card is desire. So there's something that you really want very a lot. So you've got Moon here in Cancer. So this is your card really and you are going after something that you really want. Um, maybe something has been given to you, an offer has been made to you and now you're sitting and considering it. Maybe it's something that you've always wanted for a long time uh, because you can see this, it's it's a pearl. So it's almost, uh, you know, it's it's um, something that has been um, out of your reach and now it's being offered to you and you need to actually pursue that. You've got the G regeneration, the Mother of Fire card, which is talking, it is the Queen of Rods. So it's taking control. It's uh, a card ruled by Sagittarius. So this is about expansion. This is about broadening her, your horizons. And this is about taking control and taking your power back. So power coming to you, you, the universe is giving you that power. Even though you're dealing with a very difficult situation or a lot of drama around you, that power is coming back and it's going to allow you to, to take control. And, you know, this new offer that comes in for you is going to be something that's going to bring in a lot of authority, give you a lot of power in your hands. And it's something that you're going to start and work on. It's it, It's got to do with work because you've got the child um, and it's an earth card over here. And um, this is uh, the page of... Um, uh, pentacles so something brand new coming in and it's going to allow you to be able to manipulate that situation that job to suit your needs and it's going to bring in a lot of growth so it's something brand new starting off for you but you know you, you're going to be very very hands-on very involved with it and you know it's going to take a lot of your time your energy your effort and you're going to enjoy it quite a bit because you've been waiting for it for quite a while you've got the power card this is lilith and this is um mars um uh, this is sorry this is aries and it's ruled by the planet mars so this is the emperor card this is taking control of a difficult situation now you could have been dealing with an aries person uh, but this is also about you taking back your power taking back your control taking back your authority being very organized um you know um handling your finances very well, being in charge of a lot of people. So you are at that position where, you know, people are listening to you and people are uh, taking note of you and you are uh, organizing quite a lot of people. You've got the crone resurrection. So you have gone through a very, very difficult position, uh, situation. You were dealing with a lot of toxic people, a lot of toxic energies over here, uh, but it looks like, you know, you are emerging from it. So whatever problems that caused a lot of anxieties, you are rising from it like a phoenix from the ashes, really, because it's got that Scorpio energy going through it and this is really refocusing your energy and really cutting out things that uh, are dead to you so things that are not working out for you you've cut it out and you are now uh, re-emerging as something much more powerful now going to the future you've got the ace of swords over here and you've got the empress so the ace of swords this is victory over a difficult situation so this is together with this crone resurrection cutting out that negative card it's almost like the death card cutting out all that it was not serving you finding that balance back again speaking your truth taking victory of that situation and standing your ground so these are very powerful cards you've got that emperor kind of power card in there you've got this resurrection with the crone card over here and now you've got this ace of swords over here or the ace of winds and this is having that new insight new thoughts speaking your truth and taking control of that situation and the empress is achievement so you will achieve everything you need and everything you are desires because you've got Venus over here and this is being very successful financially materially even with your family life so you are going for it and it looks like it's going to be coming into your arena pretty soon so this brand new job or brand new um, work situation is going to cause a lot of growth and it's going to give you a lot of abundance as well and you know you're going to have a lot of authority in it so this offer that came in for you is is something very that's going to bring in a lot a lot of success so maybe you were, you know, a bit dubious about whether you should, you should take it, but it is time for you to act. So that um, Ace of Swords is showing that it's time for you to act, make clean breaks from the past and move forward towards abundance. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Manga Tarot for the main read.
Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, you've got that Ace of Swords. So uh, in the previous read, the last, uh, you know, one of the cards there was the Ace of Swords, and you've got it here again. So this means that, you know, you are going to be very victorious. If you are facing any kind of legal battles, you, it will go in your favor. And this is also a card to cut out that past. You have to make a clean cut, a clean break from that past and move forward. And you've got to take that power back in your hands. You've got to wield that sword. And you've got to be very, very determined and very, very single-minded in how you do things right now. And those are the energies going through this read. So you've got the three of uh, cups over here and the fool. So you are going to be celebrating victory. So something is going to be, there's a victory with that ace of swords. And you've got that celebration card with the three of uh, cups over here, getting together with friends, but also celebrating the success of whatever you're doing, being very, very emotionally fulfilled, but also um, getting a lot of support from people around you. You've got the fool card over here. So you are starting a brand new cycle. So something ended. Something was lost, and now you are going to be moving forward. You're leaving it all behind, making a clean break, and moving forward. So in the past, you had the Nine of Wands. Whatever you're dealing with, this is being very vigilant, expecting the worst, being very anxious, having to deal with a lot of problems, a lot of challenges, you know, fighting almost till you're so exhausted you couldn't even think. So that's what you've been going through. A lot of battles, a lot of drama. And it's got you, you know, uh, you're very, very... Uh, um, you're on high alert, really, at, with this card. You know, you're expecting things to go completely wrong. That's been happening with the last year. You've been very, very, um, you know, traumatized by, what, what, by whatever's going on. Now, you've got the Queen of Pentacles over here. So this is you taking control. So something new has coming is on the financial um, front. So this is you taking control of that situation, being in charge of your finances, you know, uh, and getting abundance and being very, very organized. So you are controlling everything at the moment and you know exactly what you want to do with your money and money is coming in with you. So you are getting to a place where you are getting that financial stability coming in. You've got the strength card over here, and this is how you have been dealing with a lot of difficulties. You could see this man's looking into the mouth of the dragon over here. So whatever it was, was a very, very difficult situation. Uh, you might have been dealing with legal problems as well. And you know, it took a lot out of you. You had to dig deep inside yourself to actually be able to find the strength to deal with that particular problem. But you are sorting it out. You are coming to terms with it, and you are dealing with it. So going into the future, you've got the temperance card over here. So this is a time for healing. You may need to take a little bit of a holiday, a little bit of a break, get things in order. This is like washing away all that hurt and pain. So you need uh, some time to heal and some time to get that balance back. Uh, and maybe, you know, you need to reconnect with nature as well. You've got the Sorcerer's card over here, and this is the uh, Magician card. So whatever you want is going to be coming your way. Uh, you have it all the skills you are very very well trained up to do this particular job but also it's a lot of communication going on with you and everybody else there's a lot of collaboration and you're going to be able to manifest things um, everything that you need is going to be given to you uh, you're going to just have if you just think about it it will come into your arena it's it seems with this uh, magician card but you must focus and you must have that willpower and you must be single-minded. You can see she's even got that sword there. This is talking about being very, very focused, being very, very single-minded in your goals. So you will be, you might be doing some traveling as well. And, you know, you'll be very, very work-oriented. There might be a lot of pressures from work. There might be a lot of uh, deadlines that you have to meet uh, because this is the card of uh, ruled by Gemini. So, you know, a lot of energy going in, a lot of mental energy going into that work, but also being very busy and doing a lot of travel as well. So despite all the drama that's been going on around you, you can see there's a lot of fire with this Prince of Wands. You may have been traveling with your work already, uh, or you may be traveling with your work because the Prince of Wands is about doing that same job, but doing it overseas or all communicating with a lot of um, foreign people. And all, despite all the drama, you're managing to maintain your balance. So although there's a lot of things going on around you, you are maintaining balance and you are managing to center yourself and focus yourself. So you are pretty much in control of your situation right now. Uh, you might still be a bit um, you know, upset about what had happened in the past. You are still considering it, but you can see those cups are over the river here. So you, you've put it in the past. You are still doing a lot of self-reflection over here, and now you know you want to face the future and accept all the new um, beginnings that come in for you. So you are uh, turning your back on the past, and you are moving forward. 
So going into the future, you've got the Three of Wands over here, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Tower card. So the Three of Wands is making plans for the future and putting your plans into action and also waiting for things to happen. So have a little patience. Everything is going to go your way. It looks like, you know, whatever projects you have, whatever you decide to do, you're going to be able to achieve it and get over any kind of emotional difficulties. You've got the Ace of Pentacles. So this is new money coming in or a new job offer coming in or something that uh, changes your financial status. Now, you've got the Tower card over here. Now, I always say the Tower is never always a bad card. It just means that there's going to be a dramatic change in your life. So things are going to suddenly start taking off or suddenly start moving, and there's going to be a new beginning. So the old is falling away, and the new is beginning. Um, and, you know, you need to be able to, to adapt to that situation in order for you not to feel the intensity of that change. So don't be stuck in your ways. Try to keep an open mind, broaden your horizons, think outside the box in order for you uh, not to be devastated by the, the tower. You need to go with the flow um, and, you know, think of the bigger picture and things will change for the better. So um, this is uh, the... Uh, guardian angel tarot and this is for the oracle read and the first card is out with the old in with the new heaven is showing you a sign that it is time to move in a new direction often this is because you're not happy or feel a lack of purpose in your life this is a wake-up call to make changes that match your heart's desire and spiritual truths and this is probably what that tower is out with the old and in with the new and so you are getting a sign to move on in a new direction whatever you've been doing has made you very unhappy so this is why the universe is bringing that in so you've got the seven of abundance and it says have patience sometimes dreams grow slowly don't worry hard work you've invested will bring you uh, a bountiful harvest it is a good time to uh, prepare because things will soon move forward very quickly use this time to rest and plan so this is what this three of wands is it's like the seven of abundance things are about to change just have a little patience and don't be worried and things are going to start moving very quickly soon for you and then you've got uh, the um, Guardian of Abundance, which says this is a time for great success. All your plans are blessed and will move forward perfectly. Unexpected job opportunities that arise in the near future. Make sure to accept the, these job opportunities. This card indicates that someone with an amazing career is involved in the situation. And this is a powerful person with great integrity who enjoys hard work. Now, you are going to be given uh, some kind of opportunity that is going to lead to success. So make sure whatever opportunity comes your way that you accept it. And, uh, you know, you don't uh, ignore any kind of, even if it feels like it's a very small opportunity, it's something that's going to be a stepping stone to success. And it looks like you are going to get um, somebody with great authority being, uh, or great power being interested in you uh, and who wants to promote you. So make sure that you're accepting and keeping your mind open. And it looks like, you know, you're going to be very, very successful in what you do. So you are, you, whatever you are doing with this fresh start that you're making with the fool, it looks like things are going to change for the positive. The universe is kicking out all the things that are negative or the things that are stagnating you. And it's going to bring in a new cycle as far as wealth goes and as far as money goes. And, you know, um, and you're going to be pretty busy communicating with a lot of people, doing a lot of travel, uh, you know, uh, make sure that you're keeping that balance as well. Focus on yourself. And this Ace of Swords says, be determined, be single-minded, and be focused. And uh, the card below it is the sun, so there's going to be extreme success in whatever you decide to do. So uh, don't be deterred. Make sure that you're very, very focused and you will achieve whatever you have set your mind to achieve. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.